Hello everyone, welcome back. And if you're new here, hi, I am Tala and I'm a fourth year mechanical engineer student at McGill University. If you have ever wondered how to launch a payload into the stratosphere, this is the right video for you. Last Sunday with the McGill rocket team, we launched a high altitude balloon to test components of our rocket at high altitude. And I vlogged this whole journey. But before getting into the actual launch day, let's see how we prepared for that launch. Everyone, currently in the workshop and we're preparing for the next hab launch. A high altitude balloon, also known as HAB, is a scientific platform that carries scientific experiments into high altitudes. Those weather balloons can reach up to 35 kilometers in altitude. Those balloons are made out of a flight chain that are composed of a parachute and a flight termination system. The high altitude balloon also carries a gondola, which consists of the scientific experiment or payload. In this gondola, we have all of our electronics components, our GPS system, the beacon, and so on. We just got to the launch location and the team is preparing. Hopefully we're launching in an hour. So the whole team is going through all of the launch procedures. Ta-da! <laughs> Testing the ESP32 camera yeah. module. Camera, say hi to camera. <laughs> and we will be able to port our parachute. We forgot to buy it battery holders. We developed our own uh, with spare parts and hopes and dreams. This is engineering, guys. This is the spot, and this is our GPS, and this is how we find the hub. Gives us a ping every five minutes of the GPS coordinates. This is a beacon. Once we're close to it, we can try to pin it, and then it starts making noise and beeping. Everything is secured, so this is the GPS, this is the beacon, PCB, batteries, and then it's connected all to a flight termination system. We also have a camera that we're going to be sticking on here and using yep. design the SD card board. initialize I am holding some light train with the pillows small update this is the new ASQ power is again to make sure that our predictions are correct. We are monitoring the hub and hopefully it will terminate at 10,000 feet which is in like 15 to 20 minutes. Since the recovery of the hub is one of the most important and most fun moments of lunch, I'm going to ask around the people which is their favorite hub recovery. So let's start with Amanda. Recovery is probably actually the first one that we did because it was like so, it was, well, it was the first one we did. So we didn't know that it was like even really possible and we like didn't think we were going to get it. And then we just like found it in a dream. Um, my favorite moment, there was this one time um, we were like hiking on uh, Mount Trumpa and Albert found like a little lizard like <laughs> skittering along. Um, that was really cute. And I got some really cute um, disposable camera pictures from that one. So. Okay, vlog update. Ooh. We gave up. <laughs> We're back with the team. Day one. <laughs> yeah, but we couldn't cross the river. Actually, Jasper tried to cross the river. It didn't work, so yeah. Favorite recovery hab launch is probably the Quebec City one. That was very memorable. We did a lot of sketchy calculations in a hot dog shop. <laughs> I didn't think about it sinking. <laughs> and we had random people to call in Quebec City to force them to recover it for us. But we recovered. Yes, exactly. We recovered. That's the most important part. Actually trying to calculate the location 
the general, the general vicinity or the area of where it landed. And it's an 11, 11 kilometer No, I think you have to extend <laughs> the so we sat in, in a restaurant and we tried to calculate the speed and everything. And we were very accurate, but we thought that the nichrome wire worked. It didn't. <laughs> so, so then, while we were doing the calculations, I got a spot trace and I started screaming. <laughs> and then, and then um, it's in the lake, in Quebec kitchen. <laughs> so we called the lake resort to see where is the balloon, like to ask them, and they thought it was a prank call. And now they're searching for the balloon, so hopefully we'll retrieve it. Have a recovery rate of 97%, so it's looking good for us. It'll be higher after this launch. This is the funnest part of the launch. So we're going to recover Bring the tracker, and we think it might fall in the river. I'll jump in. The plane is from Alberta. And hopefully, it won't land in a river because if it lands in the river, we don't want Benjamin to go in and swim in it. <laughs> but I will do it. And honestly, I will do it too. Like last launch in the recovery, it was all muddy and all of us, we just went straight in the mud. I so. worked two days straight on the hab. I'm not about to let some dumb river stop me. I second that. <laughs> Updates were at the grocery store and we just received the ping. It went very far away and it still didn't terminate. So we're hoping it terminates soon. But if it doesn't, it's going to be a very long recovery. You think we're waiting for the spot to give us a stop sign but it's not and now it's going very far so I think we need to take like a ferry to cross the river and get the hub so the hub still didn't land it's been an hour since we launched so we think that something went wrong with the electronics it happens this is what happens in engineering it seems like it's an hour and 50 minute drive from here which is like two hours and 50 minutes from Montreal and we'll see if we'll recover today so we'll update you soon we're back in the workshop and guess where it landed of course, it lands in a tree, in a forest. Oh, for sure, it's in a tree. That's Maybe true. it landed perfectly between two trees on the ground. <laughs> we, hope, we hope so. So, yeah. we're gonna go this Friday, go recover it. It's a two hour drive from Montreal. Hopefully, we'll recover. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. So, this is the landing location in the middle of a dense forest. So we're gonna go hiking again. Yeah, we have to bring our hiking gear. All the things that we did in this video is thanks to the Megan Rocket team and thanks to the help of the High Altitude Balloon team, the Recovery team and all of the members of the Megan Rocket team. They thank you so much everyone for working on this project and thank you Megan Rocket team for allowing us to fly those high altitude balloons. I'll end the vlog here. Thank you everyone for watching. I've launched in the span of three years a total of 12 high altitude balloons and zero pressure balloons with both the Megan Rocket team and the Canadian Space Agency. So I am sure there's going to be more high altitude balloon videos coming up soon and I hope you guys enjoyed them as much as I enjoyed filming them and doing them. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next Friday. Bye!